today I will be critiquing my very own pictures. I haven't done this in a actually ever, I haven't done this ever, but I thought it would be cool just to look back at the photos that I've taken over the past couple years and I don't know, just assess. Yeah, so if you don't know, I am a photographer and I have been doing photography for about, I guess, four years now. Um, I started off with a Canon T5i and a 50mm um, 2.8 lens. It's such a good lens and like, it's very versatile. So that's what I took for the first two pictures. And then I upgraded to the 6D Mark II, Canon 6D Mark II, um, which is also very amazing. And I mainly use the Sigma 35 um, Art 1.4 lens. And basically that's, been, that's all I've been using nowadays for portraits. I just find it very pleasing and flattering for portraits. And so I just use it all the time and um, it works, so. Let's hop into it. The first picture that we have here is, um, I shot on the, the Canon with a 50 millimeter. I think it's good, but I think my coloring could have been a lot better. Also at this time, I didn't like direct people as much on the way that um, to pose. So, I mean, I like the way that she is like distantly looking, but I feel like it would have been cool to do something with like where we can show off more of her shirt just because it's a pretty like off the shoulder shirt so maybe something like she could have like turned around and like like we saw like her shoulder more like that would have been nice i think and the, the way that i colored this i'm pretty sure i was shooting in jpeg this time and that i wasn't shooting raw so the i didn't have that much control over the coloring so i would have liked it to be a little more um, dramatic, if you will, because it's like you see a little teal and orange um, contrast going on here, but not that much, so I feel like I could have done that a little better. So like posing and coloring for this picture, I think I would have liked, but I think it's a pretty good picture. Um, yeah. Okay, next picture. This is outdoors, and I think... This was taken with my Canon T5i as well with a 50 millimeter. I like the way that I edited this. Um, however, I think the posing is a bit awkward because there's just like a, a blank area on the top right, I mean top left. I don't know my right from my left. Yeah, so there's just a bunch of blank space on the top left. So I feel like if I had gotten on a, like a lower angle and positioned her head to be where that is, um, then the lines from the pole and the lines from what was behind her could have framed her head more nicely. But yeah, other than that, I like the coloring that I did here. Just as it shows off the, the, the tone of her skin very well and you can see the colors of her makeup. So I really liked that, but yeah, the framing could be a lot better. And I feel like that's the case with a lot of my earlier work. Like I was just getting into how to, fo how to, I was just getting into how to pose people. And um, yeah, but she was, she was an amazing um, model and she, you know, wrapped her hand around that stop sign, I think it was, but yeah, like she, she made the picture work. Um, yeah. The next one is indoors, and now I had my two, uh, my Canon 6D Mark II for this, and my 35 millimeter. I like the tone of this a lot. Um, so like I found out over the years that I I edit like, I guess my editing style is like muted, muted, soft, moody. Yeah. But I think that captured this vibe very well. I like the way that she's sitting um, a whole lot. Just It's like it's a dramatic picture. It's not just like it's a girl like peacefully reading her book. It's like I'm a queen type vibe. And um, like I guess my, I, framing is my thing. Like I, I can be a little bit aloof when it comes to framing in the moment just to get everything. But this is... This is better. Like I would have liked her head to be a little 
Um, so like there's a bit of blank space on the top right. I feel like if her head was like, if she positioned her body to move forward a little bit more, that would have been nice. But overall, I think the composition of this is nice. You have like a lot of things going on, but it's not too overpowering. The next picture was taken in my friend's school studio. It was UArts and one of their studios and my friend Chrissy was doing an assignment for her project and I was just there to help and to be there for fun and so I shot as well and it was my first time in like, like just like being um, exposed to like a type of lighting in the studio and so I was like having a hard time adjusting to that at first and I feel like it took me a really long time to edit these sets of pictures just because I didn't know how to edit studio lighting and um, so I feel like I went for the more natural route over route natural route um, for this but I think I would have liked it to be like I think now like I know I should probably turn down the highlights a little bit more up the contrast maybe like yeah just like color grade a little better just to make it more moody and fit more my more of my style but I think this is like very editorial I don't like I like it a lot for what it is and it's very natural and um, it shows off her skin very nicely and I like her pose as well but I think I could have like angled it down a little more to get more of her bottom, the bottom part of her body um, just so we can get more of the pose in, like the top part does seem a little empty um, yeah, but other than that I think, yeah, I like it I definitely could re-edit them um, okay next picture, this is very recent, um, it was probably a couple months ago when I was still back in the States, but I really love the leaves in this and the way that it frames, like the way that it's framed her eyes. I think I could have gone a little, like just have her tilt her head a little downward just so the eyes could be even more framed within the leaves. But other than that, I really like her skin complexion and the way that uh, the leaves are framing her. And I don't know, there's a lot of detail. And there's this like one little stickler, like the leaf, that's at the bottom left that's curved. If I caught that, I would have just made it straight, but now it's bothering me. <laughs> but other than that, I think I like, I like this picture a whole lot. Um, yeah, not a lot of complaints here. And I think by now, like I definitely know my editing style and can stick to it pretty well. Um, okay, next up is this cool picture outside and I love 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 shooting outdoors on cloudy days just because it's so moody I like love the whole moody city aesthetic and so it was cloudy this day but then like it got like really sunny afterwards but like at this moment it was cloudy so I shot upward just so we can see the buildings in the back and I like the way that she's like she's also like She's a tall person, but like at this angle with the tall buildings, it's just like, it's like empowering her like to be who she is. Like that's what I'm getting from this picture. Um, and I like the way that she's like moving her hand and it's not too overly posed. It's just like natural, like, yeah, I, I really like this because it's not too posed, but it's still like dynamic enough that, that it's an interesting picture. And I just love the look of the background buildings. Um, yeah, and the color of her skin, I I tried really hard just to like get it as best as I could closest to her actual skin tone and just to like bring it life because I don't want to make anyone's skin like dull or anything like that. That's like my worst fear. Like editing skin, I just need it to look like lively. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like the way that she's just like naturally standing. Like she's very good at just doing her thing <laughs> and um, yeah I, I like the composition of this I think playing by the rule of thirds it matches pretty well no complaints here and last but very much not least I love this picture um, just because again like with the rule of thirds it just fits very nicely 
um, pleasing to the eye. You get drawn into the girl first and then you start noticing the little details like the brick, the window, the plant on top, the plant behind her. Um, there is a lot going on, but I feel like because everything is so spaced nicely apart from each other, it's not too overwhelming and the way that she's posing is just very fitting for her outfit as well as her surroundings. Um, yeah, and the way the shadows are like chiseling her cheekbones and like adding drama to her pose and her dress. I just really love it. Like the shadows are very nice in this picture and I think, yeah, I, I don't know if what I would change about it. Maybe I can get like e even farther away and just like, yeah, I could possibly get farther away. Um, but yeah, as the years go by, I like know more and more of what I want and I get more comfortable with like asking people to pose certain ways. And um, that definitely just comes with practice and asking your friends um, <laughs> if they can be your model. Cause literally all of these girls that I've shown today are my friends. Like they're so beautiful. I, I have so many beautiful friends. Very lucky for a photographer to, to, to be in that position um, just because they always agree to do photo shoots and they're very great um, at supporting me. They're amazing girls. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. Looking back at it though, I just find it really refreshing to see how I've grown as a photographer and the style. Like I definitely can see the growth, but I also appreciate like myself back then trying to like learn from people like um like my one of my roommates she's a film she was a film photography major and she definitely helped me so much like Chrissy you helped me a whole lot um just like understanding more conceptual things about like shooting in raw like you changed my life when you told me about raw files <laughs> um and just like yeah with the whole composition thing that only gets better with the more that you shoot and I try my best to make the people that I take pictures of very comfortable. Or at least, yeah, all I can do is try. Like, you can make bad jokes or something to ease them up. <laughs> but yeah, the more comfortable your model is, the more comfortable they are with posing, and then you just get more, you just get better poses and better looks. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely want to get more into experimental things. Like, I just want to do some things that I haven't done before, like really test myself when it comes to fashion photography as well. Um, I don't want my pictures to look too pretty anymore. I want it to look like, at this point, I want to try something like edgy <laughs> or I don't know. Yeah, I just want to try some new stuff, but this was fun. This was really fun to look back at my pictures. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe I'll do some more. If you liked it, give me a like and a comment suggesting maybe I can do like um, reviewing or critiquing my couples photography and then like live events photography something along those lines and we can have sections and we can do or like like a one just specifically for like guys because I am very bad not very bad but like I could get more practice with posing guys <sighs> all right let's wrap this up um, like comment subscribe Thanks for being here, guys.